Hello there, this is an opening. It's time for another update video um, of uh, MC64, my computer in vanilla Minecraft um, for Minecraft 1.13. And um, today I want to show you something related to the screen <clears throat> because now you can finally do something um, a bit more useful with it. Um, just ignore that, I'm still working on some stuff there. Um, because I added some functions that allow you to um, write uh, characters on the screen. So there's a command to write a single character. And then there's also a command um, that will allow you to write a whole uh, string that doesn't work so far. And you can write a number and that is what is um, already working. So yeah, these command blocks are just for the video um, to reset the screen. And yeah, <laughs> hi is just there, so I know that things are running. Um, yeah, first of all, I'm going to show you on the screen uh, the uh, program I'm going to run now. So it's, if you don't understand it, um, no problem, it's really complicated. <laughs> at the moment to program it because you have to write these scoreboard values inside the memory. Um, yeah, but you know, there are functions, so it's a bit easier to write all the stuff inside the function, so you don't have to put it in chat. But um, once the computer is finished and you, um, you can download it, then you will be able to program it on the screen without writing these scoreboard values because that really sucks. But yeah, so far I have to do it like this. And basically um, this program will store the number 1234 inside the variable number zero. And then it's going to project the number onto the screen or print it on the screen. Um, project means it will load it into the buffer of the screen. And after that, you have to call the render command. That's the difference be between, uh, for example, project sprite and render sprite. Project um, will load it into the buffer, but you won't be able to see it. And if you run render sprite, it will be shown immediately. But here I chose um, this method because uh, at the moment you can only project numbers. Um, yeah. So first of all, it's going to project the number that is stored inside the variable number zero. So it should uh, print one, two, three, four onto the screen at position zero, zero, which is the left bottom corner. And then it will um, project the number um, five, six, seven, eight, I guess. Um, yeah, it will project that onto the screen with an offset of 10 pixels up and to the right. And yeah, the difference is at the, uh, the first command will um, load the value from the storage because it's stored in variable number zero and then print it. And the second command will um, immediately take the parameter and print it on the screen. So yeah, um, let me show you. Um, this will just start a program that is stored in the memory and you can't see anything because I have to render it now. And where you can see the numbers. This is one, two, three, four with an offset of zero. And this is five, six, seven, eight with an offset of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And um, every number has um, an empty line um, on the left. So yeah, this is where the number actually starts, technically. And on the sidebar, you can see the variable storage in here is the one, two, three, four. And you can't see the five, six, seven, eight because it's just a parameter for the command. And let's take a look at the, um, oops, at the program. Oops. Eh. All right. Yeah, there's some, um, I think I should empty this first. Scoreboard players reset everything system command. 
and um, a lot of a program again. So this is the whole program. It only has four commands. First command uh, in command zero is um, storing the the number one two three four into the storage, and then um, command one will print it out. This one here means that it has to uh, get the value from the variable storage and zero means uh, just take the parameter given to the command and this will just end the program. It's yeah really complicated and abstract so yeah you don't have to understand this. Um, and the actual parameters are stored somewhere else. Scoreboard objective, set display, sidebar, parameter zero. Yeah, I should also do this. Um, <clears throat> let's see, parameter zero. Uh, why is this 10? I don't really understand why this is 10. Uh, yeah, never mind. Um, parameter one, no. Here you can see the one, two, three, four, which is also a parameter and will it will be stored inside, into the storage. And again, there's 10, oh yeah, right. Um, the 10 is the, um, the offset, so, 10 pixels up and 10 pixels to the right. Yes. And here I have to reset it to. And this is the, oops, 5, 6, 7, 8. And yeah, it's, as I said, really complex. Um, but yeah, now I can, for example, modify this scoreboard players. Set system cmd a2 system parameter 2 and let's set it to a 666. Oops, and we set yeah, we set the screen and run the um, program again. And as you can see, it stored the value in here and um, render it, system GPU render, and it's uh, it printed out 666. So yeah, um, that was just a demonstration that it's, it actually works and I didn't hard code these numbers somewhere. Um, yeah, I can actually do all of this and it's really quick. Um, I'm planning to uh, modify the command, uh, the program that um, calcul calculates the Fibonacci numbers. I showed you in another video. And I'm going to modify it so it will actually print out the numbers on the screen here, at least the ones that fit inside. But therefore, I have to change a few things. And yeah, as you could see, it's quite uh, hard to write a program because of all this scoreboard stuff so it will take some time. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're looking forward to more stuff related to this computer. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.